Hi friends! It is Saturday and new vlog week and it's lovely and sunny outside but it is still freaking freezing. <laughs> but I got some magic mail I just wanted to show you guys. This is, I know exactly what this is, it's from Hakuna Mid Journals and I'm so, so, so excited to open this up. Let's get into this. Oh, I'm so excited! <gasps> Look how pretty! Oh, it's got little stickers on it. Okay, let's read this. It says, Dear Samantha, thank you for showing my thoughts. We hope you love your new journal, which I will. Uh, all our books are pre-loved, so you may find small rips, creases, or marks from the previous adventures. Much love, Shell at Hakuna Journals. Go and check her out on Instagram. She is amazing, honestly, like, oh, I'm so excited. So you guys probably already know about my love for... Oh, it's so nicely wrapped. I don't want to open it. Um, yeah, so you guys probably already know about my love for notebooks. <laughs> but I saw... I can't even remember where I found her Instagram page. But, oh my gosh, like, she makes uh, journals and diaries out of recycled uh, old Disney books. And I was like, I have to get one. <gasps> Look! And uh, so Oliver and Company is one of my favourite Disney movies. It is severely underrated. It's probably my favourite underrated Disney movie. And I was like, I saw like loads of Little, Mer like Little Mermaid books and Aladdin books and all these movies that I love. Um, and I was like, no, no, I can't spend money. I can't, I can't, I can't. I've got too many notebooks. And then... <laughs> I saw an Oliver and Company one and I couldn't help myself. Oh, I love it so much. Oh my gosh. So you've still got the story in there. She leaves um, the story in there, but she just adds lined pages. So you can still read the book. Oh, look how cute Oliver is. So I'm going to link her stuff down below because you honestly, like, you will not regret buying something from her. I mean, just look how amazing this is. I honestly can't even put into words how much I love it. <laughs> so yeah, go and check out Hakuna Journals. I will link her stuff down below. So now for the rest of the day, I'm just going to read that book. <laughs> uh, watch some YouTube. I need to edit my video. And then later on, I'm going out with my gran and some of our friends and we are going to the cinema to see Second Act which is a movie with Jennifer Lopez so I'll tell you all about that when I come back. It's Sunday and I am hardcore procrastinating. <laughs> oh I need to tidy up. I need to clean but yeah I'm procrastinating. Hard. Send help. It is now Monday. It was a nice quick day at work, thankfully, because last week kind of dragged in. So this week is hopefully going to go nice and fast if today's anything to go by. But I got the pink parcel. Yay! Um, the packaging has changed. I think they said they were, for a few months they were going to be having different packaging. But yeah, let me just show you what I've got. This is what it looks like. It's usually a black um, package, but uh, they sent an email saying that they're working on new packaging. So for this month and next month, they are collabing with Cosmo. This is super cute. It's a nice wee change. Still got the strip. It's kind of thicker uh, cardboard, but it's still all recyclable, which is very important to me. This is probably going to be my last box for a while, just because I need to save money. But let's see what's in this month's box. Ta-da! Ooh, cute. Ooh, ooh, spoilers, spoilers. Okay, so in here you've got some nighttime, daytime, and little mini panty liners in there too. So musts, I'm assuming, will have both daytime and nighttime. Oh no, that's just daytime. That's fine. It seems like there's definitely less stuff in, in here in regards to actual period products. But to be honest, I always have leftovers, so I'm happy to welcome less. 
Um, but ooh, again, so there's no um, bit of paper telling you kind of what's in the box. Uh, maybe this is something they're doing away with. But let's see what we've got in here. Oh, so I'm assuming this is some sort of little chocolate. Let's see. Yep, so this is dark chocolate, which I don't really like. So I will probably keep this for my mum. So this is, I'm assuming, a full-size body lotion. The one thing I do like about Pink Pot Russell is all of its stuff is really good for the environment. Like, it's uh, without all, like, the horrible chemicals and, and plastics and, and everything. Like, most of their stuff is really organic and really good for the world, which I really like. So it says... Just two minutes with a handful of this and your skin will feel a whole lot softer. Up, up and down, shoulder to toe, round and round. Let me smell it. It smells really nice. Uh, I can't kind of pinpoint exactly what it's... Pineapple, that's what it is. Um, it it's kind of smells like pineapple. Mm -hmm. So here's another little chocolate. What's in this one? This is dark chocolate too, so again, it will go to the mother. Tea, which is something they usually have. Again, this will go to the mother. Nipple balm. I have never heard of nipple balm in my life. Why is it called nipple balm, but it's for your lips? That's a bit weird, right? And then we've got this cinnamon mint. Oh gosh. This is toothpaste. That's that's interesting, but I'm not a fan of cinnamon. Anyone a fan of cinnamon? Anyone? I'm not even going to attempt to to say that. I'm assuming this is a lipstick. Let's have a look. So that's actually quite a really nice kind of ready nudie color. Let's have a wee look at it on my hand. So this is what it looks like on my hand. It's like a nudie pinky red color. It's kind of Peachy, I guess. Last but not least, do we have a face mask? I like a face mask. So this one is meant to brighten your skin. So that's what's in this month's. I do love Pink Parcel, but unfortunately, when I have to cut down, it's one of the first things to go just because um, it's non-essential technically and they do give you lots of pads, so I do have a lot left over. So they'll do me for a few months. But I'll definitely be back to using this in the future. So if you want to try out Pink Parcel, I'll leave a link down below in the bottom uh, for you to order your own. I've got pictures of it. Have you got ones yet? I, that would be great. It's for the World War II. Right, I'll show you what I've got anyway, okay? You do here. I'm right. going to <laughs> it is all Wednesday today and today was a very exciting day in work. So one of the good things about working in a very famous museum is that sometimes exciting things go on. You get famous people coming in, um, you'll have really good events, um, you'll have filming sometimes for TV uh, and, and movies and stuff. Uh, and today was one of those days. We had some TV filming going on. I don't know. I know a lot of the UK people that watch my videos might know about this TV show. Probably not anyone overseas, but there's a TV show called Mrs. Brown's Boys, which is kind of like, um, there's a lot of Irish actors in it. And that was in my work filming today. And also any of you guys who watched EastEnders or know of a band called Spandau Ballet, Martin Kemp must have been guest starring because he was in the museum. Uh, this is a picture of me and Martin. I have no shame, you see, so I just went up to him and I was like, hey Martin, can I get him a picture? He was actually really lovely. Uh, and I just kind of asked him if he'd ever been in the museum before. And he was like, no. And then I said, it's a beautiful building. He was like, yeah, it's really beautiful. Blah, blah, blah. It was very quick interaction. An even quicker interaction was with Brendan Carroll, who is like the director and writer of the show. And he also stars in the show. Um, this is a picture I took of him, well me and him, um, he was just directing today, he wasn't dressed up as Mrs Brown, but yeah it was really exciting, there was a lot of hustle and bustle kind of watching it, 
um, they did a lot before the museum opened. The museum doesn't open it until 10. So they did some filming before that, but they were filming until about one o'clock, half one, eh, even while the public were in. So Brendan and the cast and obviously Martin Kemp were in high demand. There was a lot of people asking for selfies and stuff, but they took it all on their stride and they were really, really nice. So yeah, it's always quite exciting when something like this happens in work. And they said the episode of Mrs. Burns Boys would probably be airing in kind of March, April time. So I'll definitely look out for that eh, on the telly. So that's all the excitement I had today. Now it's time to relax. A dollop of patience. A what? A dollop of patience. A dollop? <laughs> it is Thursday the 7th and today is Time to Talk Day, which is a day that we should all be talking about mental health. Work was putting on lots of like little um, localised uh, events, so that was really good. But uh, I just wanted to quickly say that if anyone's struggling, um, just talk to someone, ask for help, um, get some support because there's people out there who will help you. Um, friends, family, a doctor, a helpline. I just don't want people to suffer in silence because there's no need to do that um mental health the stigma is going it's going down it's going the right way and um i'm always here um to chat if anyone needs anything because i know what it feels like um but i just wanted to remind everyone to ask your friends ask your family how they are and really mean it um ask them how they really are and you might be surprised sometimes at what they might say. But it's bedtime now. Peace. Oh, hi. Hi there. It's Friday. <laughs> uh, you may be asking, Samantha, what is that on your face? You can probably guess. It's the charcoal mask from the pink parcel box. Why do I do this? For you. For the entertainment for you guys because I know this is going to be painful this is going to be painful if you haven't seen videos of people peeling off charcoal masks you should you should google that oh wait never mind because you're about to see it happen <laughs> right now I don't know why I did, did this I just wanted to see like what it was like because you watch the videos and you're like no it can't be can't be as bad as, it, as they're making it out to be I'm about to find out. Okay, so I came into the bathroom because I need a mirror. <laughs> um, and it's been, most of it's dry, some of it's a little bit wet. I don't know whether to leave it or not. It says like between 15 and 20 minutes. Um, and some here is a wee bit wet. Oh, see, a wee bit wet. Um, should I leave it another minute? I'll leave it another minute. A few moments later. Let's just go for it, shall we? Um, so this isn't sore, this isn't bad. Oh, going up the cheek, it's getting a bit worse. Um, but let's start with the chin. So the chin was fine. Chin is good. We're okay with the chin. But as we're going up the cheek, it's a bit worse. Ooh, chihuahua. Ooh. Okay, it's not it's not too bad. It's not it's 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 doable. It's doable. It's not the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. Ooh. Ooh, up towards the nose, it's getting a bit worse. It's it's actually really not that bad. Ooh. Can you hear that? ASMR. Ooh. Whew, need a wee break. It's a wee bat. Wee bat. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not so bad. I really was expecting this to be like 10 times worse. Um, but this is like a manageable pain. Oh, up at the nose is going to be difficult. Not bad, not bad. We're doing well, we're doing well. Oh. But I want to do most of this in the one if I can. Oh, I'm doing the nose now and it was like, are people faking this? Because this really isn't that bad. Maybe I just got a good make. 
That wasn't bad at all. That really wasn't that bad. Like, there was tiny wee bits where it's like pulling the hair a wee bit and you're like, ooh, but like my eyes aren't even water and nothing. Like, that was, like, I was expecting that to be way worse. I'm really sorry. You all must be very disappointed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're meant to be able to see like loads of blackheads and stuff, but there's like nothing on this. I think I might have just got like, a t <laughs> I don't want to say this because it came from Pink Parcel, but maybe I got a cheap make. I'll show you which make it is in a minute, but let me clear the rest of this off my face. So I know it's kind of covered in black stuff, but it was Beauty Pro Black Peel Charcoal Mask. And it said to put on a thin layer. Um, I'm going to Google this and see what the kind of reviews are like. So I checked it out online and it looks like it has pretty decent reviews. Uh, there's not like a whole bunch of reviews, but the ones I've seen um, out of like about 20 there was only like one bad review uh, I would say I'm not by any means a beauty expert um, but I don't have a lot of blackheads I don't have that issue so I would say I think if you had a lot of blackheads I don't think this would be strong enough um, to kind of clear them all um, but if you're kind of like me and you don't have a lot of blackheads and stuff I think it would really benefit you my skin feels really good like I feel so fresh like my face just feels really fresh um, and it wasn't that painful at all uh, I only left it on for maybe like 18, 18 minutes maybe um, I probably could have left it on a bit longer uh, and maybe that would have helped um, but I, I really liked it like I said I got it free in my pink parcel and I would recommend it if you don't have a lot of blackheads if you do I would recommend maybe finding a stronger charcoal mask but that's my thoughts on that. But yeah, I, think, I don't think I've got anything else to tell you guys for this week. I'm getting closer to New York. I just worked out my kind of um, upload schedule for for um, while I'm uploading the New York stuff. So it's very exciting. Um, the week that I'm away in New York. Um, so I, I fly on the Friday, the Friday the 1st of March. So that Monday, which is the 4th of March, there won't be a video. Um, and there won't be a video that week so you'll have a nice week break away <laughs> before the like surge of New York uh, vlogs um, I'll be doing my normal vlogs as well so on Mondays I'll be posting my normal weekly vlogs and Thursday I'll be po posting New York vlogs it's time to go into bed <laughs> and watch YouTube and get the electric blanket on and chill out so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time